Hey guys, it's Stefan from The Hypermanic Entrepreneur. Today I just want to follow up on a previous video of mine on uh, my first impressions of uh, Power Apps and using generative AI in Power Apps. So after I've experimented a bit more, I figured out the reason for why it came up the error message, something went wrong when I tried to generate uh, text with a custom prompt in 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 power apps it was a little mysterious but now uh, with with that random uh, something went wrong error message but um if if you have um had the same uh, problem this video is for you because i'll show a bit uh how uh, uh, how, how to fix it uh, so for me uh, and uh, to just start the uh, start this out uh, in in order for for this to work you need the prerequisites both both for uh, both naturally you need power apps but also you need uh, access to Microsoft Dataverse so you need Dataverse to connect to uh, to a database uh, to a database back uh, basically with your uh, with your own uh, own kind of system so this um, uh, this should be done uh, through your own kind of company. Uh, uh, company email company company uh, IT structure so if uh, th this works best if you have your own kind of domain email that you can use kind of to make your own uh, uh, bis uh, kind of business uh, IT structure but uh, if you do not have that then it's uh, I think it's probably a bit more uh, complicated to uh, if it's even possible to set up something like this because this mainly for business purposes. But uh, enough of the rant, uh, this is um, uh, here. I, I'm going to uh, show a bit how, how it works because I, so basically I went into Power Apps. I had uh, set up a, um, a tried to set up my own custom prompt with some dynamic values. But when I tried to, uh, tried to run it, it said something went wrong. After some research, reading, reading up some error, uh, some other documentation and such, I found that uh, there was this feature called generative AI features, uh, and uh, below that is move data across regions. That's uh, in in a lot of regions, such as Norway, where I uh, I am. That's automatic uh, automatically turned or by default that's turned off. So you need to go into the Power Platform Admin Center. Uh, I'll show some screenshots on the um, uh, in the video and. Uh, there you have to go to generative AI features. You have to uh, turn on move move data across regions, and if you want, you can also turn on Bing search if you want to uh, it to be able to search uh, search for uh, content online as well. But especially important is the move data across regions features feature. Uh, that's the most important one here. When you turn that on. And, uh, and save those settings and you go back to the AI builder, uh, try to set up a custom prompt and then try to run it again, then it should work. Uh, and that's at least uh, how it worked for me. I, I found out that there were some limitations to this uh, AI builder that it didn't allow uh, content, uh, content generation, uh, text generation in other languages such as Norwegian, but then you can just uh, translate it in uh, translate uh, translate it separately or um, in another uh, app, but at least it works uh, when when you turn that on. So that's that's an advantage at least. So um, yeah, you, if if you have the same problem that I have, you can try to uh, try to turn on that setting. If it still doesn't work, then um, yeah, I I will leave some uh, document uh, documentation, some uh, other. Uh, uh, other other pages you you can you can check out other Microsoft documentation pages and uh, forums where uh, they discuss some possible solutions. So maybe that will be of uh, of help to you. Uh, so so yeah, uh, I, I hope this video has been helpful or at least that uh, the uh, the links uh, the links below uh, will will help to to guide you a bit further to uh, to lay the foundations and to start actually experimenting with uh, generative ai in power apps but uh, but yeah let me let me know in the comments what you all think if you have any of uh, any experience with this uh, of your own and then uh, 
yeah, uh, other than that, I hope you all have had a great week and I will see you all tomorrow.